A full review of the Lexus RZ is coming August 23rd to EV Rider, but first, Canoe shows off its latest model. EV startup Canoe kicked off its second quarter 2023 earnings call on August 14th by officially announcing its lifestyle delivery vehicle 190. The LDV 190 shares the same platform as its smaller brother, the LDV 130. But the LDV 190 has a beefier suspension and more cargo capacity. Canoe CEO and Chairman Tony Aquila stressed the amount of durability testing and certification work that's been completed on the way to ramping up for volume production. On May 15th, 2023, completed our LDV 130 with customized cargo use cases for customer evaluations. On July 20th this year, completed annual summer testing in record 120 degree heat. As we all know, the impacts of the summer have been extreme and we've taken advantage of that doing real customer testing. On July 31st, we completed all compliance activities for FMVSS and CARB, certification for LDV, in addition to previously announcing EPA certification. On the financial side, Canoe announced its order book has risen to $3 billion, with 70% of the orders coming from commercial customers. Canoe's CEO also said the company has reached a deal with another Fortune 100 company, but declined to divulge who that is. Yeah, it's an industrial customer. Um, they want to keep, uh, you know, these customers like uh, elements of surprise. Uh, so similar to what we did with uh, our other large customers is we want to prove it before they actually uh, commit to large orders. And so we'll go into a series of testing in the community. Eventually, those pictures will get out uh, into the communities that we test them in. Uh, and then that particular customer is targeting 10,000 units, which is not reflected in our order book. Canoe says its manufacturing and battery lines in Oklahoma are, quote, nearing substantial completion. At this point, the CEO says 2025 is the big focus because that's when production is expected to rise to a break-even point. We focused on being able to have these this platform these uh, fleet-centric and, and, and government-centric uh, vehicles, these, un these, these facilities can break even at 40000 or slightly below um, and have free cash flow. So um, it, obviously the configuration of the vehicle helps because we have much higher margin as, they, uh, as we do the upfitting for their, for their use cases. Um, but it's a different model, right? I mean, you have to think of us more like, you know, we're a lot like a like an aviation defense contractor as well as like a Oshkosh more than we are like a Ford because we're building sold units. We're building on contracted units. And so uh, obviously that gives you a better insight. In addition to that, we don't we're not projecting our software revenues or any of those items. And uh, as we saw uh, with our recent deliveries, those customers wanted um, software services. Um, we built a complete, you know, workflow back end on these, on our platform. So we'll be, we'll be talking about that more in the future. But yeah, we're, we're very focused on, on 2025 because at that point, you know, we've crossed over into the 40,000 plus range. The biggest worry for investors continues to be whether Canoe can hang on long enough financially to move beyond low volume production. Yeah, we, we want everybody calibrated to the ramp. That's why we focused on run rate. Um, but it'll be a low volume number of units that we are delivering in that time. You know, call it, I don't know, if, we're, if everything goes as planned on the inside, uh, well above another 20 or 30 vehicles as we as we finish out this year. Ramath Murthy, Canoe's chief accounting officer, believes his company's laser focus on manufacturing while cutting costs in other areas will allow the EV maker to reach volume production. This focus will ensure that we have the necessary capital to deploy as we execute our plan 
to achieve a 20,000 unit run rate per year manufacturing readiness. The result of this alignment continues to be reflected in our second half guidance as follows. A 20 to 30% reduction in second half operating expenses, excluding depreciation and stock-based compensation, compared to second half of 2022. Reuters reported Canoe posted a smaller than expected quarterly loss, sending its stock up 2% after the earnings call in extended trading. Canoe's full second quarter earnings presentation is available in this story on the web at evrider.tv. If you found this business-focused episode of EV Rider useful, please give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can bring you more EV news and adventures in EV motoring. We'll see you again next week.